What's up, everybody? I'm back. I'm here to talk about today's General Hospital episode. This video has to be a little, going to be a little short today because I actually have a meeting. It's like two o'clock right now. I have a meeting at two thirty, so I'm at the wrap. I'm at the speed this video up. I had to prepare for this meeting. Um, but today's episode was great. It was Cliffhanger Friday. Um, the Michael and AJ scenes were great. Him, St Sean Keenan, almost said Steve Burton. Sean Keaton and Chad Duell did great together. They, they acted great, off, acted off each other greatly. Excuse me, but um, they had some great scenes, and it shows that Ron Calavati knows his General Hospital history. He did an interview when he first became the head writer of General Hospital, and it said, and he said, and always on Daytime Confidential. Go look at the day, go um check out some old Daytime Confidential podcast episodes. It was in one of they interviewed Ron Carlevati, and he said he actually knows more. He knew more. He knows more about General Hospital than he did One Life to Live when he was writing for One Life to Live. He knew the history of General Hospital before he did One Life to Live, and that actually explained. I guess that's why he's bringing the nurses' ball back, and also some news. Lucy, it's been confirmed that Lucy Coe is back. That's gonna be great to see her back on the show. I've been hearing about her coming back for a long time. But nothing really ever came of it. But now it's been confirmed that Lucy Cole will be back. So be on the lookout for her within the next couple of months. It's probably going to be just in time for whenever they do the nurse's ball. Because it hadn't really been confirmed. But since they keep bringing up the nurse's ball, they're probably going to wind up. And it's in spo some spoilers that Sabrina, Elizabeth, or somebody is going to bring back to try to bring back the nurse's ball. I'm interested in seeing what they're going to do with that. So let me know what you guys feel about the nurse's ball coming back. Um, but yeah, like. He really knows his general hospital history. When when um AJ was telling him when AJ bought up Tony Jones, I was like, that actually is right. Cause didn't Carly sleep with Tony and AJ on the same night? Cause cause um he, he was trying she was trying to pass Michael off as AJ's not Michael off as um Tony's father. He was trying to pass Tony off as Michael's father, and then that didn't that didn't fall through. So then she made it made it seem like Jason was his um was his father. And we know Jason was doing it trying to protect him, but AJ was basically flat out telling telling Michael that there's two sides to every story. Now, won't you ask ask and won't you go out go ask Sonny about the time he put me on the meat hook, trying to have me that he bought off the meat hook, and we all know, we know we seen the guy that played AJ Billy Warlock, and that that was and he and like I said I was saying like my video like yesterday that Guza Bob Guza um destroyed that AJ character. He just basically destroyed that character. He made it. Yeah, the character was like, he was bad at first, but he wasn't really that bad, but Goose just destroyed him. But, um, we know Maurice Bernard put, put Billy Warlock's AJ up on that, um, meat hook. But, we know Sean Keenan's AJ, he wasn't dare to put him on the meat hook. Because I remember, like, a scene back in the day where AJ basically whooped Jason's ass after that accident. Whooped Jason's ass whenever they were fighting over Keisha. Keisha Ward, which is another character I wouldn't mind seeing come back. But, hey, I'm not going to lie to you. There's too many people on the cast right now anyway. But I'm glad they are actually bringing some vets back. But anyway, um, moving on to today's episode. I actually thought um, um, Todd and Carla were actually going to go for it. I thought Todd and Carla were going to go for it. Um, um, I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I like Todd and Carla together. Um, Todd should just come clean about everything he knows and everything he's done. Um, but hell, cause looking at all of me and Carly them being with hell, Todd Todd ain't nothing compared to. Him. I mean, Todd is right fits right in there with Sonny, and he's not a mob boss or nothing, but he kind of fits right in there with Sonny and AJ and all the other people Carly's been with. But anyway, um, I thought they were gonna go for it today when Johnny walked in walked in the room today. That was kind of funny. Um, and Carly was looking good as hell today too. She was looking sexy. And Laura Wright has been looking, been looking. She's been looking right on this on these last couple of episodes. She's been looking sexy as hell. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's a little shallow with me, but Laura Wright's been looking stunning. And on uh, these last couple of episodes, anyway, um, it was funny when um uh, after Johnny left, Ty was basically saying, "Okay, I hope we can still come in there and bounce up and down up on that on that bed in there." Only Todd Manning, I, I would say, only Todd Manning, um. Like I said, the Connie and Johnny scene, and Con the scene between Connie, Son, Connie, Kate, whatever she's going by, Sonny and Alexis, those were some funny. I mean, Connie was basically going and reading all of them, and I have a good feeling Connie's gonna wind up. Connie, Kate, she's gonna wind up getting 
getting off. I have a, eventually. I think she's gonna wind up getting off. Um, and I think, and I wish all this stuff with Johnny, him being a true killer of um, and I wish they would quit saying Cole and Hope were murdered. Um, they really weren't murdered. Star was in that car crash too. It was just an accident. Yes, his the wheels were shot at, but I wouldn't really necessarily. Would you really call that a murder? I mean, I don't know if you call that a murder or not, but. I think it'd be more manslaughter than it would be murder. But anyway, um, I'm just ready for him to come out with that. For Johnny to find out this, tell him, tell everybody that he's the true killer, and whatnot. Won't tired to tell Carly about the whole, the truth about the whole Sam and Sam's baby thing, and whatnot. I'm, I'm just ready for all that to get all these storylines to wrap up. Um, but yeah, um, that's really all I got to say about today's episode. It was a good, a good cliffhanger Friday. Um, love the Michael and AJ scenes today. They was those they acted they acted great off of each other. Um, didn't really expect um them to act that great off of each other. I knew Sean Keenan would do a great job, but Chad Duels Michael's been kind of eh to me. No, he's not that bad of an actor, but I mean he's been kind of eh. Um, me anyway. Um, let me know what you guys think about today's episode. Leave me a comment below. Um, I see you guys playing. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Wish me luck on this meeting I want to go to. Hope I land this i land this gig wish me luck on the meeting i'm about to go to but anyway thank you guys for watching this is dominic checking out peace god bless